In this workshop, we're going to take a look at correct weighting. It's definitely one of those skills that people have the most difficulty with. A lot of divers and instructors just advise to keep adding weight until you go down. But this is actually just overweighting divers, which is completely wrong and unnecessary. The most accurate way to get your weight right is to do an end of dive weight check, which I cover in full in a separate training video. The problem is you need to add some weight so you can actually get into the water in the first place and it doesn't make sense or safe for that amount of weight to be too heavy or too light causing you problems while you're underwater. So I'm about to go through a surface weight checking procedure that will generally get you within plus or minus one kilo from the final weight you'll need so it's actually very accurate. Let's start with the type of cylinders you'll use, steel and aluminium. My surface weight test procedure stays the same, but you do need to know if your cylinder becomes buoyant at the end of a dive like most aluminium cylinders do, or using a steel cylinder, which is still negatively buoyant near empty. This is a correctly weighted diver using two aluminium 80 cylinders in fresh water. Three fingers is signifying an 80% breath hold. And you can see at this point, the top of my mask and forehead is level with the water. I just wanna point out in the next three weight check examples you'll see, my BCD is completely empty and my cylinders are full. I'm using the exact same wetsuit and side mount system. If you dive in a dry suit, make sure you watch after this my additional video on dry suit surface weight checking. So now I'm going to change from 80% lung volume to 50% lung volume. And you can see I slowly start to descend from the surface. When I breathe in to 80% again, I start to rise back to the surface without kicking my legs, just using my lungs. And that's very important. Now remember, that was 2.4 kilos. We're now gonna do the weight check with the aluminum cylinder. It's full to 200 bar. And when I place this in the water, I'll show you here on the luggage scales, the actual weight that cylinder is in the water is two kilos. So two kilos is a negative weight that cylinder has on my body. You can use this weight checking procedure I've shown whether you're diving in back mount or side mount. If you have a new buddy you suspect is overweighted, rather than go for a dive and have problems, take the time at the start of a dive to make sure both of you are weighted correctly.